Canada is currently experiencing a healthcare shortage, and that is especially true for nurses. Consistently, we have heard from nurses who are exhausted from stretched working conditions, excessive workloads, understaffing, and overtime requirements. And all of that was exasperated by the COVID-19 pandemic. The nursing shortage leaves us asking some very big questions. How can our healthcare system improve to make better working conditions for nurses? How can we fill the nursing shortage domestically? Or do we need to rely on international talent to fill the void? And lastly, what are the real world consequences when nurses are overworked? Joining us now to unpack this is Dr. Sylvain Brousseau, president of the Canadian Nurses Association. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for, for inviting me. How is the shortage impacting nurses and what can be done to improve retention? First of all, uh, the shortage is impacting everyone, nurses, physicians, and other as well healthcare professionals, and as well, I would say the patient, because uh, without nurses in the healthcare system, it, there is no healthcare services and there is no access uh, to the care services in hospital, emergency, uh, in primary care as well. And that's why it's important to, uh, you know, to implement the measure of, of retention. You need to improve the working condition of nurses, make sure that they are working in a safe place. Um, and nurses have expressed that in some cases they work in an environment that it's not, uh, it's toxic in some places. It's, I would say that it's not everywhere, but uh, there are some places we, uh, nurses are, are fed up of the, um, of the situation and uh, the working always in um, uh, understaffing and uh, being always in um, workload pressure and uh, asking them to stay like 16, 18, 20, and even 24 hours at work. I mean, this is not sustainable for the air system and as well for the quality and safety care, because if you always work overtime shift, uh, eventually there is a risk of error and who will imp who will have an impact on it's the patient and it's time to implement the solution because solutions are there and i always say to politicians you must respect and listen to nurses solution because nurses are they have talent they have expertise they know how we can resolve this and it's important that we invest in the nursing retention measure, uh, such as making sure that you have you no know, a, a better uh, ratio, patient ratio by nurses, um, improve the working condition, to maintain nurses who are in the healthcare system actually, and to make sure that the one who left come back in the in, inside the healthcare system, and the one who entered the, on into the uh, nursing workforce in hospital and other area of, of the healthcare, such as the long-term care, primary care, that they have all the support to integrate them inside the healthcare system. Make sure also that nurses are paid, the wage paid, being uh, uh, that being paid, at the level of the, their own the nursing competencies, and um, you need to we must improve the work environment, and, and it seems to be a I would say a kind of implementation crisis, such as Andre Pika said recently in in the media. And if we don't act now, that's going to have an impact in in short term in the healthcare system. And we see uh, what's happened last year when we saw emergency being closed. Uh, some uh, obstetrical obstetrician room being closed as well in some in some places across the country, and you have the one as well who are uh, living in rural and uh, um, uh, community uh, areas such as up north. I mean, we need to resolve this once and for all. Uh, we have just a minute left, but I do want to ask for those vacancies. Some argue that we need to fill those spots with international talent. Do you feel that this could help solve the nursing shortage in, give me about 45 seconds? Yes, could, can we use the one, can we resolve the international educated nurses who are already in Canada and don't practice right now? And we need to focus first on those, make sure that we reduce the bureaucracy and assess the request and move forward. Dr. Sylvain Brousseau, president of the Canadian Nurses Association, thank you so much for joining us today.
Thank you. Have a great day. We have to go to break, but when we come back, we'll have more news from around the world. The riots in France are beginning to ease following six nights of unrest. The CIA receives more than 2.5 million views on a dark web post in a single week. And Israel's prime minister defends his military operation on the Janine refugee camp in the West Bank.